So have. So now, so in this class we are going to learn some more problems related to finding the sum of the terms and uh, finding the terms related to arithmetic progression. So now here we have the problems. The, the first one is the first and last terms of AP are given. That is uh, 17 and 350. Okay. The first and last terms are given. So we can uh, take that as A and or uh, L. So last term and first term we have to take as A. And uh, respectively, if the common difference is 9, how many terms are there and what is that sum? So here they give first term, they give last term and also they give the common difference that is 9. And we have to find out how many number of terms that is how many uh, n are present and uh, we have to find out the sum SN. We have to find out for this arithmetic progression. Okay. So now I will solve this problem. So now first term is uh, 17. A equals to 17. And uh, last term is 350. See so here respectively is your Respectively means so here first and last term. And respectively. That means first term is 17 and last term is 35. So they come one after the other. So now here A is A. So that is first term is 17. The last term I will take L is equal to 350. Okay. L is equal to 350. Then you can take A and also. No problem. Then common difference D is equal to 9. Now we have to find out number of terms and sum. So now to find out uh, the sum of the series. So we want N. But we don't have the value of n, we have to find out. Okay, so that is with the formula n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, or n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So I will uh, use the formula l is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So l value is 350 equals to a value is 17 plus n minus 1 that is unknown term and value of b is 9. So now I will take this uh, 17 this step or I will do the simplification afterwards I will take that to uh, right hand left hand side 350 equals to 17 plus. So now multiplication of binomial and monomial it becomes 9 into n minus n plus into minus 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 into plus minus 9 ones are 9. So now it becomes uh, 9n is equals to 350. So 17 minus 9. It becomes 8. Okay. So and uh, sign of so the highest term is plus. So it becomes plus 8. So when plus 8 goes to the other side it becomes minus 8. So therefore 9n is equals to 342. 350 minus 8, it becomes 342. So therefore, n is equal to 342 divided by 9. So now simplification. 9 3 is 27. Remaining is 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So remaining is 72. 9 8 is 72. Okay, so therefore value of n is equal to 38. Now we got the value of n. That is totally in this arithmetic progression series, there are 38 terms are present. There are 38 terms are present. Now we have to find out what is the sum. Now we have to find out the sum. So to know the so here we have know the value of a and l and uh, before the value of n, therefore we can directly take S n is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. So Simplified formula that is Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. 
So S thirty eight because here totally thirty eight terms are present. Therefore, instead of S N, I will consider S thirty eight. That is equal to thirty eight by two. Value of A is seventy and value of L is three fifty. So that is our substitute here. Seventy plus three fifty. Okay. Now S thirty. So now thirty eight by two. So two ones are two ones are two. Remaining is eighty. Two nine is eighty. It becomes nineteen into seventeen plus three fifty. It becomes three sixty seven. Okay. Now I consider instead of A into B, I consider B into A. Okay. Commute to property I will use three six seven into nine. Seven nine zero sixty three. Six nine zero fifty four plus six sixty. Three nine zero twenty seven. Twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three. Plus one seven zero seven six three three seven nine six. So answer is six nine seven three. So therefore S thirty eight is equal to six nine seven. So that means sum of thirty eight terms of this arithmetic progression series is six thousand nine hundred seventy three. Okay. So here in this problem they give value of L as well as value of uh, uh, L and uh, D. Value of they give value of A. L and D. So by using that and uh, by using the formula L is equal to A plus n minus one into D, we found the value of n. That is n is equal to thirty eight. And by using that value of n, A and L, and by using the formula S n is equal to n by two into A plus L, we got the answer as S thirty eight is equal to six thousand nine hundred seventy two. Okay. Now similarly, the second problem. The second problem is find the sum of first twenty-two terms. So here we have to find the sum of how many first twenty-two terms of an AP in which D is given that is seven and twenty-second term is one forty-nine and twenty-second the value of D is given that is. Seven and twenty-second term. That means eight twenty-two. Eight twenty-two is one forty-nine. And find the sum of first twenty-two term. That means n value is given, d value is given, as well as eight twenty-two value is given. We have to find out sum of twenty-two terms. That means s twenty-two. We have to find out. And here they, they give value of d, value of n, and value of eight twenty-two. That means. Eight twenty two is the last term. Okay, so eight twenty two is the last term, and S twenty two is the sum of the twenty two terms. So therefore, we can directly take n is equal to twenty two, and uh, we can use the formula a uh, n by two into a plus a n. Okay, instead of a plus a n, we have to consider a plus a n because eight twenty two values here they not directly mention the last term. They give eight twenty second. Therefore, we have to use n by two into a plus a n. Okay. So what are the given data? We will write this. So find the sum of first twenty-two terms. That means n is equal to twenty-two of an AP in which d is equal to seven. D equal to seven. And twenty second term, that means eight twenty second is equals to one forty nine. So now the formula is S N is equals to n by two into a plus a n. But here value of a is unknown. So therefore we have to find out value of a. So if you use n by two into a plus n minus one into d, in that case also we have to find out value of a. Therefore, directly going to the sum. First, we have to find the value of a. So that is by using the formula. Which one? 
a n is equals to a plus n minus one into d. So we know that once we are writing the formula, then we have to substitute the values. A n is equals to a plus n minus one into d. So now a twenty second term equals to a plus n values twenty two minus one and d values seven. So now a twenty two values one forty nine is equals to a plus twenty two minus one twenty one into seven. One forty nine is equals to a plus one seven the seven seven two the forty one forty seven. So therefore, value of a becomes one forty nine minus one forty seven a equals to two. Because one forty nine minus one forty seven gives answer as two. So therefore, we found the value of a. That is first term. So therefore, first term of this arithmetic series is two. Now we got the value. Now we can use the formula of finding the sum of the terms of the arithmetic progression. So S N is equal to n by two into n by two into a plus a n. So n value is twenty uh, two. So that means S twenty two is equal to twenty two by two. Because n by two it becomes twenty two by two. Into a plus an, a value is two. Plus an value is one forty nine. Sorry, a value is two, one forty nine. So now it becomes s twenty two value. We have to find out two one the two one the one the it becomes eleven. Into one forty nine plus two it becomes one fifty one. Now again, I will use b into a. One five one into plus one five one one five one one six six one. So therefore, s twenty two is equal to one six six one. So therefore, sum of the twenty two terms of this series becomes one thousand six hundred sixty one. The sum of twenty two terms of this series becomes One thousand six hundred sixty-one. Okay, this is the method of solving the second problem. And now I will go to the third problem. Okay, understood? Now third problem. So if you have any doubt, you can ask. So third problem is find the sum of the first fifty-one terms. So that means here value of n is equal to fifty-one. That is given. Find the sum of first fifty-one terms of an arithmetic progression whose second and third term are fourteen and eighteen respectively. So yeah, we have to find out the sum, and it is given that sum of first fifty-one terms. That means we have to find out s fifty-one. That means we got the value of n. N is equals to fifty-one, and here they not give value of b. And uh, they give the value of second and third term of the series. Here they not give the value of a, that is first term. Here they not give the value of last term. And here they give value of n and value of second and third. Now we have to find out sum from these terms. So we have the formula. S n is equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. So d is unknown, value of a is unknown. So we can't solve the problem because single equation and two unknown quantities. And if we consider the second uh, the simplified formula, that is S n is equal to n by two into a plus a n. Last term is not given and first term a is also not given. If we consider n by two into a plus l, then also we can't able to solve. Now, in that case, we have to see this term. The whose the series is in arithmetic progression. And is given the series is in A P, and they also give the second and third term. So, when a series is in arithmetic progression, then we can find out the common difference by subtracting the alternate numbers. 
So here second and third term given. That means a three minus a two also gives the value of d. So the general form is a then or a k one, k two, k three, k four, so on. Then here the common difference when we consider any two terms, any two neighboring terms, it gives same. That means a two minus a one. That is same as a three minus a two. That is same as a four minus a three. Like that it will continue. Okay. In all that case, if the series is in arithmetic progression, then the d value remains constant for that series. All that is equal to d. Okay. Now we have to find. So I will consider. So from this, we got the value of d. We can find out the value of d. So S n is equals to n by two. N is given fifty one. N by two into two a. A value is uh, unknown here. So we got the value of d, and we know the value of a two and a three. Now we have to find out a one. How to find out a one? So it is very Easiest method. It uh, seems to be difficult, but easy. Because when we have to find out the next term of the arithmetic progression, we have to add value of common difference. That means we have to add d value. So that means a two, a three is equal to a two plus d. That means for the next term, we have to add value of d to the previous term. If you want to find out a four, then what we will do? We will add. Value of d to the previous term. Previous term is a three. Similarly, when we have to find out the previous term, we have to subtract value of d. So that will be a three minus a two. A three minus d. Okay, it gives a two value. And similarly, a two minus d gives a one value. So that means we can find out the value of first. Term. So by using this method, we can find out the value of a. So then we got value of a, value of d, value of n. We can easily find out the sum of the fifty-one terms. Okay, I will solve this problem. First, we have to add the given data. So given data here is. N is given. That is fifty one. Then a two is given. First term is forty. The second term is forty, and uh, third term is eighty. Now we have to find the value of b. So value of b is equal to a three minus a. It becomes eighty minus forty. 80 minus 40 it gives answer as 2. Now we got the value of d. Now we have to find the value of a. So therefore, a1 is equal to a2 minus b. So a2 value is 14 minus a d value is 4. So therefore, a1 value is 10. Or we can consider a1 or a. So now here we use A one, so therefore in the formula also we have to use A one only. Okay, so now our formula becomes S n is equal to n by two into A one plus n minus one into d. Okay, because if we are we are using A one and in the formula we are using A, then it is of no use because we can't equal to substitute directly because here we use A one. So therefore in the formula also we have to use A one. Okay, I will uh, start here. Sir, S n is equals to n by two into two a one plus n minus one into d. So S uh, n value is fifty one. So that S fifty one is equals to fifty one by two into two a one value is ten plus n value is fifty one. It becomes fifty one minus one and uh, d value is four. So S fifty one is equal to. I'll keep this as this fifty one by two. 
टू टेन जा ट्वेंटी प्लस फिफ्टी वन माइनस वन इट बिकम्स फिफ्टी इन टू सो दर फोर एस फिफ्टी वन इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी वन बाय टू आर की डेट आर दिस इनटू ट्वेंटी प्लस फाइव फोर जा ट्वेंटी जीरो डेट बिकम्स टू हंड्रेड सो नो एस फिफ्टी वन बिकम्स फिफ्टी वन बाय टू इनटू ट्वेंटी प्लस टू हंड्रेड यूज टू ट्वेंटी टू वन जा टू वन जा वन जा जीरो अगेन आई कंसीडर यार बी इंटरे वन वन जीरो इनटू फाइव वन जीरो वन वन जा वन 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 जा वन फाइव जीरो जा जीरो फाइव वन जा फाइव फाइव वन जा फाइव जीरो वन सिक्स फाइव जीरो वन सिक्स फाइव तो दैट इज़ व्हाट सम ऑफ़ फिफ्टी वन टर्म्स ऑफ़ दिस सीरीज़ इज़ फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टेन ओके फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टेन सो यार द गिव वैल्यू ऑफ़ ए टू एंड ए थ्री बाय सब्सट्रैक्टिंग ए थ्री एंड ए टू वी गेट वैल्यू ऑफ़ डी देन बाय सब्सट्रैक्टिंग वैल्यू ऑफ़ डी फ्रॉम ए टू वी आर गेटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ़ ए वन एंड बाय यूजिंग एन वैल्यू एंड फॉर्मूला एन बाय टू टू ए वन प्लस एन माइनस वन इनटू डी एंड सब्सट्रैक्टिंग द वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग द सम ऑफ़ द फर्स्ट फिफ्टी वन टर्म्स ऑफ़ द सीरीज़ आर फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड